Okay, guys and gals, good morning. So it's Saturday morning. I hope everybody has a really good cup of coffee. So uh, now, uh, where I'm at on uh, just processing these cases that I'm working through, uh, so far in the series, we've taken our uh, once fired range cases, we've decapped them, we've resized them, we've trimmed them, and hopefully you're, you're holding tight tolerances on uh, that head space based off uh, however you're resizing or trimming. So now what I'm doing is I'm chamfering and deburring. Uh, so I'll just show you uh, three different ways of doing this. Um, first off, uh, remember when you're uh, chamfering and deburring, you're not trying to take this to a, a sharpened edge. All you're trying to do is uh, chamfer the inside of the mouth so the bullet slips in easier and you're uh, removing any burrs and that's it. Simple enough. So, okay, this is our product by Lee. Uh, I've, I've, I've been using this. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it does the job. And the test is, is uh, will it chamfer? Will it deburr? And it does. It does a good little job. Um, the only thing for me with this, it's too small. Um, you know, I suppose when I was younger, I, I could hold this for, you know, um, you know, much longer duration. But uh, you know, the older we get, you know, fatigue in the the grip of the hand. But past that, this will do the job, no problem. Okay. Very nice. The uh, old standby. Okay. All the companies offer these hardened steel, you know, razor sharp edge. I've always liked these. The reason I've always liked these is because they have a little bit more mass to them and they're a little longer in the hand. Um, that makes it easier on the, the grip of your hand. The thing with this, it's really easy to get carried away. I mean if you want you can really crank into this, but don't do that. That's all we're doing, a little chamfer on the inside and removing the burrs. Um, one thing about the Lee that I do give it credit, it doesn't have the weight of this other chamfer and deeper tool that I just used. So Lee is kind of setting it up to where you really can't take too much off. But that's why your one reason your hand gets fatigued is you're really having to put extra force. And then of course it's it's so small to the hand. But it works. You know, uh, with this, if you have children that want to get in on this process, you know. Prepping your cases, that's ideal. A child can, can run this for hours, right? That's how kids are. They just sit there while they're watching TV and, and, and work. Just make sure they're doing a good job, but, but okay, so there's an advantage to that. All right, then this is the uh, precision prep tool by Little Crow Gunworks. like that. What's really nice about this is, uh, you know, when it's, when it's warmer outside, it's nice, you know. I can uh, go sit out on my tailgate of my truck with a cup of coffee, and, you know, early in the morning and birds are out. And my dog's hanging out with me. Just sit there, trim away, just trim away. 
You don't even need to have the cases in a load block. Put them in a big bowl, move them from one bowl to the other. You're just sitting there trimming cases, you know. However you want to do it. So you gotta do it. If you're sitting on a tailgate, you kinda gotta put them in a bowl. Because, you know, if if you have all the, the load blocks out, sitting on the tailgate, you're reaching over into load blocks and going over to that load block. It's just such a far reach and placing them in. No, no, I, if I do it on my tailgate or I go outside by the barbecue, put them in a bowl. Just go from one bowl to the other. That's how I do that. Um, one thing I, I, I really like about this uh, precision prep tool is um, on this, the, the old standby, use these for decades, you can really crank on these. You can really get to where you're uh, starting to put an edge on the mouth of that case, and, and I advise against that. But with the uh, precision uh, prep tool by Little Crow Gunworks, you kind of can't do that. I mean, I think if you want to just sit there and go and go and go and go, yeah, you, you can over chamfer, that's for sure. But really, the way this is ergonomically set, you would really have to work hard at doing that. So I really like this. And then, of course, just the, the speed and the convenience of it, just like that. thing I like about this uh, uh, precision prep tool this is the PPT tool by Little Crow Gunworks is um, you know if you're uh, just say you're sitting there like this just like this you're just like this you're trimming and all of a sudden you know someone you know, busts into your house to rob you it's like Bruh! that's a deadly that's a deadly weapon you see you gotta think that way you gotta think that way right Oh yeah, a dual purpose trimmer. Guys, this is exactly how my mind thinks. You do not want to climb inside the mind of high boy, okay? Hey, you gotta have a little fun, don't you? Yeah. Very nice. Now, don't go that way. You gotta go, you gotta go counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, okay? You gotta go into, into the the the, the cut of the blade, just like that. Um, and you know, I could probably uh, with this. I have a, another load block over here. I'll work through all four of these load blocks after I um, do this video, and that's about. You know, that's about right. You don't want to fatigue your grip. Uh, one thing I will tell you, I never mentioned this um, in my videos, but I should. When you're reloading, it is a, a tedious task. And you're repeating uh, motions of the hand. And um, what you, one thing that uh, I, you really want to do is take care of your hands. You when you were doing something to where you get to that point where your hands cramping up and tired stop stretch it most definitely stretch it stretch your hand you know um, some some really good stretches okay and that's what I do really good stretches just like that right okay and then of course you know yeah yeah okay you guys get the drift and then give them a rest you do something else go 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 clean a gun, something, but a little tedious work where you're applying, you know, you know, when we're like this, it's not hard on your hands, but when your hands are, are tensed up and, and you're working, uh, that's hard on your hands and you want to take good care of your hands. So when you get to that point where, you know, uh, you've worked them for a while and you're cramping up, stretch them out, get them good and stretched, loosen them up and give it a rest. Go do something else. I, I don't know. Maybe you have a really nice coffee cup, you know? Uh, yeah, a nice coffee cup like this, right? Guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next.